the cylinder. This is the solid, the cylinder. It's, it has a circular section and it has an axis that it can rotate on. That's the axis. And this here represents a generator, which means that if a rectangle is rotated about one side, it will generate a cylinder. Now this here is a rectangle and we're going to choose this line here as the axis and rotate it so that we can generate a cylinder. Now that's the cylinder being generated there. The axis stays where it is and the rectangle rotates and the shape that's given then is the cylinder. Now this is the drawing of it. So now the plan of it is looking directly down on top of it. We see this circle here. I have divided it up into 12 equal parts. So this is it here. And to divide it up into 12 parts, we just use the 60 degree set square. And that's it divided up. And bring those points up to the elevation and now the view we get here if we put the arrow on here and look directly down the arrow that's the elevation that we're looking for there so it's a rectangle in shape i've indexed the points and I've brought the points up to the elevation and I've marked in the indexing at the top of the cylinder 1 and 11, this point, 2, 10 and so on across the top. Now we're given this XY line on the left hand side so we're looking at it from the right. So to do the end view over here I've drawn down at 45 degrees here and bring the points across to intersect that 45 degree line and return up vertically up the sheet and that will locate the points in the end view. Now we just line in the end view here so that's the outside of the cylinder and the top and the bottom of it here and that's the end view now to draw in the generators on the surface these are the 12 sections that the cylinder is divided up into That's that complete. Now to index the points, three brought across here and brought up to the top means three is the first point there. The next point is four, two. That point, four, two. The next point is five, one. So five, one at the top. 6 and 0, 7, 11, 8, 8, 10, and the last point is point 9. And that's the end view now complete. Now we're given an XY line at 60 degrees here, so we'll project down at 30 degrees from the elevation. So set off a spacing bar at the bottom here, bring the points across and number the points. Now with a piece of paper, mark the points onto this piece of paper and then transfer it up to this distance line in the new view. Draw parallel to the XY line and then define the points. If we take point zero here, that's it in the elevation. 
and there it is on the plan it's it's on line four so that's point zero there on line four point one is up here and it's on line five in the plan bring point one down to five and that's point points two is on line six so bring the point down and mark it on line six and point three is on line seven that's three there and point four back then on line six point five on line five six goes back into line four and so on until we get the points all marked in this is what we see here in the elevation and when i put on the arrow we look directly down the arrow this is what we expect to see here so we have this these points that we found now represent the top surface here and the bottom of this is also going to be a part of a circle as well which we'll get down below now lightly line in the points here now to find the points below it's the same again it's point on point four one on line five again and you're repeating the same process as you've done above on the to get the top of the cylinder and now again draw light lines to join the points it should be a smooth curve and then line in the top here and half of the base and join down the sides and that there is the cylinder now that's what we see there and that's it coloured in and of course there's a dotted line in at the back here the other part of that curve in behind and that's your model beside it that's the cylinder complete